Hey folks, welcome. Last of our little winter series today. 30 minute session for you. Cadence ladders. Cheeky little three minute warm up. And then we'll jump in as always straight in with our work block. We're going to be doing some cadence pyramids today. We've got seven of them, I believe. Yep, seven. And we're going to be starting off at 30 seconds, 45 seconds, one minute, one minute 30, and then back down the other side. One minute, 45 seconds, 30 seconds. And within each of those 30 second blocks, we're going to start 80 RPM. That's going to be our lowest cadence today. And then next 30 second block, shifted it up by 10 RPM. So 90, then 100, and then aiming for 110, which is our top RPM today. Excuse me. <coughs> Dear me. Staying aerobic all the way, flat road, no hills. So not challenging on the heart today particularly. And this might be a little bit of a shock if you're not used to high leg speed. And why should we be doing high leg speed drills? Hmm. Okay, a number of different reasons. Working at a high leg speed, a higher RPM, really helps with your pedal smoothness. And if you've done the one-legged drills, you'll kind of know what I mean. Head over to the winter series, one-legged drills. Going in about 45 seconds. You want enough gear on today that you're not overly driving on the power phase from the top to the bottom, because you're going to bounce. So you want enough gear on to keep that stroke nice and smooth. We also want to uh, increase rather your efficiency at pedaling at higher leg speeds. And also if you're doing a really long ride, it's good to mix up the leg speed, gives them a little bit of a break. So you've got some help on this side of the screen today and a timer up here is gonna help you. We're going in about five seconds. Nice and smooth. What I want you to do is slowly increase that leg speed to 80 RPM. If you've got a cadence meter on your bike computer, use that. Uh, if you haven't got a, a cadence meter, there's going to be two versions of this workout. One is going to have music, so you can use your bike computer to help you. The other version, no music, I'm just about to step it up. Just watching my timer like a hawk. Okay, so increasing that leg speed to 90 RPM. If you don't quite make it on the first block, don't worry, on the first ladder, your legs will get used to moving a little bit quicker. Second version of the workout is going to have a, a kind of a metronome there. And that's going to be under the no music playlist. See, I'm struggling already to Oh, concentrate, Chris. Now we're going to increase to 100 RPM. You might need to be loading some extra gear on here, folks, already if your bottom is bouncing. Now, my first effort, I've tried this a couple of times, and my first effort at 110, I don't quite make it. My legs haven't really caught up. Are you ready? Now you're going to aim for 110. I can kind of get 105, no problem. Then it starts to break down a little bit, my technique. I'm trying to smooth it out. Next one's going to be a bit easier. Yeah, 105 is the best I can do here. How are you managing? Are you ready to drop it back down? to 80 RPM. Okay, and breathe. 
Now each time you drop that down to 80, it's going to feel incredibly slow. Now under normal circumstances, you might find 80 RPM feels a bit quick for your legs. Not after today. So these high cadence drills, so remember pushing out of time a little bit more this time. High cadence drills. I'm just breathing here. Are you ready? Up in it to 90 RPM. And breathe. Bang on. So if you want to make a jump, I'm putting a little bit of burst into a ride. If you race, maybe, or doing a breakaway, these are great because your legs don't normally move this quick, do they? And so it's good to practice now and again to just do some of these high cadence drills. They do get a bit easier each ladder that you do. So this is the second one. Are you ready to up it? Five seconds. Watch the timer. And uh, here. Bringing it up to 100 RPM. How's that heart rate doing? <laughs> Got them to concentrate quite hard today on this. And I find this little cheeky 30 minutes workout flies by. So I can manage 100 RPM okay. I can really hold that technique together here. So when it gets a bit higher, that's struggle. Now if you can't really hit the higher cadences, just keep having a go at it. Come back and try it another time. I'll be ready, right, I'm really going to work hard this time. See if I can hit that 110. Right, let's concentrate here, Chris. There we go. Come on, you've got this. I've got a little bit, I need to pull up more. Technique's breaking down just a little bit. I need a bit more gear on. Unfortunately, I've got my smart trainer set. Ideally, I'd want to be putting on an extra gear or so here to keep that really smooth. So you may find that you need a bit of extra gear to hit that really high cadence. Ready to bring you back down. Back to 80. Two done. Heart rate's gone right up. How about you, folks? So look, I really feel slow. 80 RPM. Oh no, it's gone a bit, bit too low. So, stretching it out to a minute. Holding it there. Just kind of use this as your recovery. Legs moving quicker, heart rate's gonna go up. Yep. Nice one. Going in around a bag. 10 seconds, I do believe. Breathe. Ready. Okay, let's increase. 90 RPM, folks. There we go. Oh, that, that kind of feels nice. Are they getting any easier? Are your legs still struggling? Okay, what is this? 90 RPM? When I do use these as a bit of a punctuation on a long ride, if I'm truthful, just put a little bit of burst in to get a little bit of respite. You can drop the gear. Move the legs a little bit quicker. You shouldn't lose too much power. So always remember, you've got two ways of controlling your power output. The amount of gear you've got on your bike, gear or resistance, and your leg speed. Are you ready? Coming up to one minute done. So next step up, 100 RPM. 
let's hit it. Spot. As I said, two versions of the workout. If you need a bit of help, that metronome is going to be a beep. And think of that beep as one of your legs. And the way I do it is the bottom of the stroke. So that'd be one, 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 one. Drops that speed a little bit there. One, 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 one. That's quite warm. I haven't got a fan on. Oh, rookie error. And you really got to concentrate because your legs will try and just slow down. They will not want to hold this leg speed. Are you ready? Right then, Let's see if I can get this in. 110, it's better sitting up. It's worked quite hard. Now legs wise, that feels a little bit easier. Kind of got into that rhythm a bit more. I'm finding that easier to hit that high RPM. 110. Breathe through it, folks. Halfway through that. That's not so bad. Come on, keep going. And you know, day to day life, when do you move your legs this quickly? I would suggest probably not very often. So, cut your legs a little bit of slack if they are struggling with this. Because it's not normal. <laughs> And bring it back. And my heart rate's gone right up. Now I can feel that lactate starting to drop into the legs. And that's making it a whole lot harder. How are you doing with your intensity? Because this is tricky. So, slow it down, Chris. You've got to have enough gear on to keep that form. Too much gear and your heart rate's gonna skyrocket. So we're now at a minute and a half, about to reach the top of the pyramid. Oh, time for a little slurp. How about you? Bang on, 80 RPM. <clears throat> Lovely stuff. Ah, uh, good time to do this workout, of course. Uh, also part of the winter series, you'll see there's a little strength and conditioning uh, video with some pointers on some off-bike strength exercises you could do. This would be a great warm-up, folks, for that session, because everything's going to be good and warm by the time you're ready. Right, you're ready to up in a little bit. Watch the numbers here up to 90. Is it getting any easier? Now I promise you, I'm not making it up, I am finding that a lot easier. Few in, my legs are kind of caught up and gone, oh you'd like me to move quickly. Okay, that's not normally what we do, but we'll do that. Are you feeling it in different parts of your leg? Mm, possibility. If you're really dragging the foot up at the back, from the bottom of the stroke up to the back, you may find, well, that does two things, by the way. It smooths out the stroke, but by pulling up, pulling up actually pushes your bottom down onto the sand. Oh, look, see, I've dropped that leg speed already talking to you. Happens every time, doesn't it? 30 seconds to go. Um, and if you're pulling up quite hard, you're going to really bring in these hip flexors, which are not normally used that much. Most people have fairly weak generalisation. I can see the comments now of oh, the hip flexors, but it's true. So do some strength exercises. Are we ready? Back to up. Oh, 100 up, right, I'm going to concentrate here. So if you're watching my legs, 
You want to make sure I'm doing the right leg speed. Let's feed it in. There we go. So 100 is no stress, really. I could do that quite easily. 110, I really have to concentrate. How about you, folks? Do you have to really concentrate on that technique with 110? So it's just got a heart rate under control. Ready to slam it again. Okay, another minute to go. How's that time flying by? Over halfway already. You're welcome. <laughs> there we go. Hold it there. Let's just hang out here. Are oh, you smiling? I don't want any grumpy faces. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. I mean, doing this once a month would be great. To, you know, to have a go at it once a month, just try and fire the legs up quicker than they normally move. Oh, this is going to be challenging. Minute and a half. 110. I'm sweating buckets already. Are we ready? Let's do this. Right, come on, let's really concentrate. Squeeze it on. I'm really going to work hard here, folks. So I've got a little bit of more, got more upper body movement, but my bum is pretty stable on that saddle. So I know I can feel that I'm rocking and rolling a little bit in the upper body, trying to control that really fast leg speed. Feels good though. I really got into that now. How about you? You can throw the towel in. It's like, I cannot do 110, Chris. That's not happening. Practice, 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 practice. I dropped a couple. Let's bring it back up. Oh, halfway through. Oh, man. Come on, hold it. Concentrate. Working hard. 30 seconds. I'm feeling my hip flex, it's not about you, mate. Oh! Yep! Now we're bang on 110. 10 seconds. Five. Nearly there. And bring it back to 80. Now we're going back down the other side of the ladder. Minute. Whew. Maybe a bit warm. Bring it back to 80. How slow does that feel? <laughs> Heart rate's gone insane. Dropped a little bit. And bring that back up. Try and bring the heart rate down. It's gone a little bit out of control. Not too bad. So at least as these ladders get shorter, time just kind of goes whoosh, whizzes by. Nice one, folks. Are we ready? Bring it up, 90 RPM. I'm very aware that I'm very red in the face because I was not expecting. I mean, it's fine when I'm doing it on my own, talking to you as well. <laughs> That's a whole different level. Can't just concentrate on this. Having to talk. You try it. Try talking while you're doing this. How's that going for you? <laughs> I mean, 90 RPM, which we, you know, I would consider is fairly fast leg speed, especially if you were climbing. Feels okay. How does that feel, okay? Okay, folks. 10 seconds and we're gonna up it 100 RPM. Are you loving life? Let's hit it. There we go. Slowly feed it in. 
So don't overly stamp in the power phase as you increase the leg speed. Smoothly does it. Feed it in nice and slowly. All right, so I don't know about you, how does that stroke feel? By default, is it just smiling? Is it just kind of smiling? It's just pedal stroke smiling. <laughs> oh, what I meant to say is, is it smoothing out? Yeah, I mean, I can't. That feels pretty smooth, not any particular stamping going on. Definitely pedaling those circles. Pleased with that. That's improved. First one was a bit lumpy. Are we ready? Oh, are you dreading this? <sighs> I don't normally dread an interval, but I think it's quite hard. Right, 110. One minute. Right, having to dig deep mentally as well here. Okay, technique is definitely easier. Managing to smooth that out with less effort. Legs are catching up with the effort that's required. It's all good though. How are you doing? Who's given up? Who's gone, oh, I'm gonna have to give that another go. Mentally, I wasn't ready for it. Come on, we've got this. Two more ladders to go after we're done here. Five seconds coming up. I'll bring it back. Now I was, I was, this was gonna be one of my rest day efforts. It's not really turned into that if I'm truthful. Heart rate's quite high. And I wasn't expecting the drippy off the no sweat. Just managing to hold on to threshold. Just about. And breathe. Oh, that caught me on the words. 90 RPM. 45 second efforts, please. Well, oh, he's just gonna zhoo, quick to the finish line. Uh, if you look ahead on that flat road, <laughs> we've really not got very far to go. 30 more seconds. Yeah, this is turning into quite an effort. That's warm. You know, good to mix it up. Throw one of these in every once in a while. Nice one. Are we ready, folks? Let's get it on. There we go. 100 RPM. You see, my other legs have got over enthusiastic. They want to go quicker. Stop with that. Rain it in. Now, if I was trusting timings, I'd be trusting that and that. Not me. <laughs> I'm trying to look at my bike computer, but not too much. These numbers are definitely correct. Whoa. Are we ready then? Of course we are. Let's do this. Is it easier in the drops? I don't know, do you find that easier in different position? It's not actually helping out that much to be honest. I say, maybe better there. Come on, don't let that leg speed drop. Don't go quitting now. So close. Full on effort. Now if you've got music playing in the background, just beware that's gonna throw you off your leg speed. 
You've got to be watching it like a hawk. Nearly there. And drop it back. Now these are going to go really quick. 30 seconds. Back down to 80. I'm not going to be there for long. 15 seconds. Oh, I've dropped a bit too far. Come on. There we go. 10 seconds. Are you ready? Last one. You've got this. Are we ready? Increase. 90 RPM. Well, that turned into a cheeky workout. I don't know about you. Were you expecting that level of effort? That is tough. And by default, my legs don't normally move this quickly. I'm a fairly slow cadence climber. Definitely would not be doing this kind of RPM normally. 100. Come on, it's, it's over in a minute now, folks. Less than a minute. Yes, hold it. Hold it. 10 seconds. Mightily warm out here. Last one. Really give it your best shot. Smooth it out. Come on, let's get this. Bang on. 110. Fifteen to go. Woohoo! So, so, so close. Five to go. Do not stop. Three, two, one. Got power catch up. Oh! <laughs> well, that was a rude awakening for the legs. got a bike confused don't look at it for a minute just look up give me some eye contact don't look down just settle there make sure you drop some gear by the way in the cool down so nice and light nice and fluid still don't look down what I'd like you to do is just settle Close your eyes, maybe. Settling to a lovely, smooth, comfortable leg speed for your cool down. Okay, now look down. What RPM are you on? So I'm on 90. Is that quicker than you would normally spin your legs in a cool down? Please tell me in the comments. I would say that's up on what I would normally move my legs. Now, moving your legs with light gear fairly quick on the cool down is great. Uh, we've only got a short little cool down because we've been moving the legs pretty quickly. We should be pumping a lot of that lactate, expelling it from the muscles. If you do need longer on the cool down, obviously, as always, keep the legs moving. Mine feel really fluid here not lumpy at all, uh, completely transformed to how they felt in that first ladder that we did. So I'm still spinning here at 87. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Just less than two minutes to go. Great little tool to have in your armour, as I said. Shifting those legs quicker than they do normally move. As I said, long rides on the road or mountain biking. Or if you're doing a really long turbo session and you're doing a long climb, just drop some resistance, drop some gear, spin up the legs a little bit quicker. You'll keep that power output, but you'll be, you'll just see, it feels just a, kind of a nice little punctuation. Mentally and physically will help you out. Minutes ago. Oh, nice and smooth. 
hold it there. Keep going. Hold it. Oh, you see, no, I've gone over the time, haven't I, already, look. See, I'm just keeping those legs moving. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun. We've got 20 seconds over, but, you know, treat it as a bonus. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that little different workout today. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.